Kazi, abang bagai cuy, baca fikir gay bete kala, ijab, wenzel, do bana tak, kebezala, ngah straight left, babekan bas kusel, kula kula right hook yang lompana wasa Filipins. Shots for corners, gay cuy, and Boyson for Florent de Condes. Joy, 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 I am as Adam Sagas. Wow. You look at the way Condes and Sagas throws a left, rather a right hook on the way in, and then a quick follow up straight left. Well, Joy is talking to you, Capaz, dead in full, I'm going to get a pele la grum for now, what Condes? Joy, I got to get a mass Adam Sagas. Needs to go downstairs when you're chopping a tree. Joey, if I chop, I chop a over arm right. If you're trying to go, I said it's a low arm right. Yeah, I think they're mostly worried about the right hook, but the over arm right. Mid Mongans are the Philippines, he better got him check us. Oh, nice talk. Ah, better slap it. Lorante Condes, the Milo. I'm a shimma being on a support. Pumelela, I'm a shimma being on a start. Sikumo is a strong Africa Condes. Bandoban is in the legal, baby. Cheta in the one. Oh! Ujoy, maybe lack of distance per fight might affect him negatively in this fight, but he didn't choose the opponents that he was fighting. But I can tell you now that if you look at the comparison, between the two boxes. Right now, Joy is looking to close the show. Alias is worked very quickly on deciding where the distance between himself and his opponent should be. And he's been throwing those punches and hitting his man with precision. Joy head hunting, probably going to need to go downstairs from time to time. There you go. Got his man against the ropes. Joy facing the former IBF strawweight world champion. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Alias is not just another boxer. A former IBF champion in this division. The minimum weight has come to the end of round two. Well, uh, welcome back to ringside. Unfortunately, we'll have to compete with this crowd. Now, we take a look at... Uh, Joy just attacking and that is his focus in this fight. You see him hitting straight punches. He's just making sure that he doesn't really shorten the distance between himself and Gondas because in situations like that where Gondas is sitting on the ropes, he's looking for a sucker uh, right hook to counter really. So Joy, particularly in those situations, has got to stay punching straight and offer angles on the way in, so that is not predictable. This is only the third time Condes has fought outside of the Philippines. The first time is when he went to Jakarta in Indonesia to win against Mohamed Rahman. The second time when he went to defend in Mexico. He had an opportunity not to go to Mexico, but he decided to go to Mexico and fought Raul Garcia at Estadio Artulo La Paz and he lost his title there. Uh, Condes trying to throw a punch at the charge of Paya Ungabi. Good Condes combinations. Has, Condes has been in six championship bouts, two of which were world titles. On the other hand, uh, my better Joy has been in 11 championship fights, four of which were world title fights. So at world title level and at championship level, Mabere Ma is definitely more experienced. Well, he also did say not just another another boxer. This one is rated number eight by the IBO, nine by the WBC, three by the WBO, and five by the WBA, and is the former IBF champion. Something's wrong there. Seems well, to have. It got hit by a straight left to the hip. <laughs> so, wow. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, definitely. 
a Joey's right hook and clicker is one of the most dangerous punches you're ever going to see in any boxing ring. So uh, the referee just telling the the boxers to keep it up, uh, keep those punches up. Well, I did tell you, Joe, you on the other hand is ranked seventh by the WBC, sixth by the WBA, eleventh by the WBO, and there was the IBO champion. Problem still is, and the third by the IBF. Well, Honda slipped in his corner there, but Joey takes advantage of that. Good combination to the air. Good punches from Joey. You see, Joey Mclegas, this is the second time that you, whenever Condes is on the ropes, he only hits straight punches. You see him, doesn't shorten the distance at all because he knows there's a counter right hook. They have prepared very well for it because they know Condes' right hook is incredible as well. Well, let's see what the ref says. It declares that a low blow okay. and give Condes opportunity to rest. He has five Take minutes to rest if he wants to. How much time? There you go, now let's take a look at uh, what happened there. Uh, straight left downstairs and unfortunately... That was definitely accidental, Joey. He's not a dirty fighter, we know that. Walk it off. Walk it off. Walk, walk. walk it off, so walk. they're telling him to walk a little bit. Well, you can see the experience of the referee, Bill Clancy. 25 years as a professional accidental, boxing referee. As referee for the IBC, accidental. WBC, IBO, WBO. And as referee in fights, got involved. Mike Tyson, Larry Holmes, Manny Pacquiao, Jermaine Taylor, Greg Walk Page. On, you know many of those names, Mr. Luna. Yes, definitely. And uh, uh, you see him just by the way he's taking control okay. of what's going on in the ring right now has told the officials at ringside that it was not intentional, it was accidental. So, therefore then, there would not be any disqualification. Ten seconds! Ten seconds! Ten seconds in this round. Let's go. Because of what happened, because that was accidental. But it mustn't change the strategy. That's what he means. Well, yes, the referee emphasized that at the end of that round. It was accidental, no points taken. Right hook from Condes. Countered by a straight ref from Joy. Well, you'd be surprised that the pace comes from Joy more than Condes. This is a classic battle here. Straight left versus right hook. There you go. Ah, oh, big punch from Condes. That's Another big punch from Condes. He's over arm left. Now he's going to finish the You've got to watch out for that. Joey's got to, in order for that over arm to not find Joey, he's got to keep the over arm to not find Joey, he's got to keep busy with the right hand. Well, he's been accepting those punches to the forehead. Big punch again from uh, Condors. Condors has decided not to go oh, hunting man. the right hook. Because he's decided in this particular round that the left hand is going to work for him. Look at that combination from Joey. Wrist punches from Joey. Pushes his man to that corner. Joey. Flesh 
finishing roll, uh, left hook, but it did not land. Right hook from the outside. Yes, from the outside. And over arm jab, uh, left now. In, in action again. Condes has not taken any round yet. Well, he's been beaten to the punch on many occasions. Well, Joey is making the fight happen. And he's not waiting for Condes to come, come at him. 